so good morning everybody we are on our way to berlin actually to the shop and then to berlin but tonight is cars and conies night race number four for us of the season i believe uh should be a really good time uh gonna have a car show and stuff on the front stretch before the races start weather looks pretty good it's a little cloudy over here where i'm at right now but weather up there looks pretty good um instead of doing two 20 lap features tonight they've actually got our class only the sportsman class we uh going to be running heat races like old school style and a 40 lap feature so that's going to be pretty pretty cool i like those long races like that a little bit of tire conservation not a whole lot because i mean it is only 40 laps but there's a little bit of that there so looking forward to that um i mean since last time out we've had two weeks off now we've changed everything but the car number i swear i mean we are doing a totally different setup uh pretty much from the ground up uh, something that we personally have not tried to experience or experiment with a whole lot, uh, but we've had a lot of people helping us out that say this is the way to go. So we're gonna we're gonna take a crack at it. We haven't been bad, uh, you know, at all this season. We've just been trying a whole lot of different things. This is only like our eighth race, really, including the races last year. So just gotta try different stuff till we find something that really, really works that we can build off of. And uh, we kind of got one setup that we could use as a safety net. Uh, really right now, but we're both, or my dad and I are both at the point where we're just, you know, trying everything we can and hopefully hit on something here pretty quick, but we're not far off. Um, like I say, we're headed to the shop right now. Just got to throw the car on the trailer uh, and head up that way. So like I say, weather looks decent right now and uh, we will head up that way in just a minute. All right, so we just got all set up. Uh, weather's pretty good. It's a little colder than we thought it was gonna be. Uh, forecast called for it being like mid 70s and if I'm right, or if my phone's right, it's like low 60s. So uh, hopefully the setup changes and stuff we made aren't gonna be too far off, but I think we're gonna be right there. Uh, we are the, uh, I guess, featured division tonight. We've got an extended feature in heat races, so we actually won't be on track to race or practice for a little while yet. But uh, all the guys are back there hanging out, killing some, killing some boardwalk so uh be a little bit before we get going but see how it goes weather's nice just hopefully these setup changes we made are gonna help the car first practice is in about 35 minutes so i will uh reconvene with you guys then and give you an update let you know how it went
So just said our first run of practice car was super solid. Um, definitely the changes that we made helped a lot. Probably not gonna run the second practice. It was that good. Just a couple things we wanna change. We've got heat races and a 40 lap feature tonight. So don't wanna burn all the goody off the tires. Try to save as much as we can. Uh, might make a couple changes. I was a little on the tight side, but nothing, you know, like out of the ballpark. So I feel good about that. Uh, time wise, we're kind of right in the middle. So we don't really have the sheer speed that we need, but we're definitely, uh, definitely got a lot more drivability than we did last time we were here. So that's good. It was definitely a step in the right direction, but definitely, definitely gonna have to, you know, get a little bit more sheer speed into it, short run speed, but we got a 40 lap or who knows, thing might go green the whole way. It might be in pretty good shape. So had a 40 lap for last fall. It's gonna get loud, but we had a 40 lap for last fall and we led like 30 of the 40 laps starting like fifth. So if we get good track position, might be able to do it again, but like I say, no practice. We're done with practice. Next up for us will be an eight lap heat race. And uh, I'll get some more video and stuff for you guys. But until then, I'll see you guys in a little bit. The 38 seed, then it's Phil O'Connell, the 77. Corey Holtzlander, the number one. Tanner Tallarico, the banana number one. Uh, Thomas Dyke in the sharp book in 77. 38 in the front and 38 in the back. Here we go. Run to green. Good early start here for Jack Russell, but Cook kind of holding his edge there on the outside. Good former mini wedge competitor here at Berlin Raceway. Slips back into second while Russell takes the lead. Jack Russell leads. Braden Cook now second. It was his birthday last week, I believe. Phil O'Connell now third, the black 77. Tanner Tallarico in the uh, yellow number one. He's trying to make his way to the inside. Phil O'Connell kind of slams the door a little bit. So there's, your, there's your top five breakaway right there. Tallarico got to check up a little bit. Holtzlander almost came on the outside, but right now. This is a heat race, so kind of similar to what Ryan Ham said when he was talking with Zach. He doesn't want to push anything so early on before the feature, but you can tell he's trying to get a little bit of an edge there on O'Connell. Great Cook trying to find a way around Jack Russell. And Tallarico trying to find a way around Phil O'Connell. There's your top four right there. Corey Holtzlander runs fifth just to the right side of your screen there.
All right, that's a wrap. Uh, started third, finish 11th, I think. Where did we finish? 11th or 12th, something like that. Uh, drop like a rock. Just chasing it all over the place. Good news is, car's not really tore up at all. I'll show you guys some of the stuff that went on tonight. So, just a small, that little guy right there. Over here, I had somebody, not sure who it was, if you're watching this video and I cut down on you, I apologize. <laughs> right here, tore up the old hometown logo, so sorry to you. I'll get another one coming this week. But, nonetheless, uh, we're gonna pack up and head home and race them next weekend. Normal night, dual 20 lappers. Uh, we'll see how those go. So, I guess we'll throw the, we threw the kitchen sink at it this past week, so I guess we'll throw the washer and dryer at it this week and see how it goes. But uh, that's a wrap. Again, GoPro, GoPro camera died, so this is on my iPhone like 8 or whatever the hell this thing is, super old. So, uh, we'll try again next week. Till then, see ya.